Hello, um, in this video I'm going to show you my anti-backlash software, also called um, backlash, backlash Compensation. The backlash on my MF70 has bothered me for uh, some time uh, since, since the purchase of it. On the Y-axis it is not critical, but on the X-axis it's 0.1mm so quite a lot and too much for precise work. I have mounted new nuts but um, it didn't help uh, and I have also tried to eliminate the backlash in the nut hole but it didn't work. Anyway, to compensate the backlash I have made a Python script and it works as follows. Let's take a look at this picture. So if we have a simple uh, linear movement and go from the left side to the right side and from the right side to the left side um, back again so due to backlash uh, we would not end at the start position but uh, we would be slightly off so if you put a measuring gauge there it wouldn't uh, show zero but um, yeah another value at the value of the backlash and what the backlash compensation script does it adds an extra movement uh, to compensate this. So this is basically what a manual operator would do before every direction change. And the script works for circles as well. So um, if we have the start point of the circle here and go um, clockwise the code will split the circle at the maximum, add a compensation value and then go um, to the orange point, split it, add the compensation value, this time in x direction because there is an x direction change, then go to the green point, add compensation value in x direction and go back to the red start point. And this is how the linear motion would look like at the machine. So movement from left to right and from right to left and between the movements a backlash compensation. There is already a first backlash compensation before the first movement because the machine assumes that we first went, uh, that we last went uh, to the left. So it adds a compensation there. The compensation values are exaggerated so that you see them better, uh, so that during the compensation the table moves, but in reality you would set such, such a small compensation value that the table does not work uh, move. Okay, let's take a look. Movement, compensation, movement. Let's take a look again. So first compensation, then movement, compensation and movement again. And now this is how it would look like for the circle. At, uh, when you look at the display at every maximum uh, or minimum there are those compensation lines. So now the uh, circle is splitted four quarters and at every minimum maximum there is a compensation. Again the compensation values are exaggerated so that you see them better and due to this the table moves but again in reality the table should not move during the backlash compensation as you would get an error there. Okay, let's start the video. Compensation circle, compensation, circle, compensation, and circle again. Let's take a look at it again. Compensation at the top, the left, bottom, and the right side. And here it is in reality with um, an actual milling. So I have made um, 
a rectangle and build it out of this uh, plastic. Let's take a look uh, the interesting side. Now, um, before the um, milling bit goes up again, there will be a compensation. If you look closely, you would recognize it. So now there was the compensation in Nix on, on this um, lead screw. That was it. And now take a look at the Y lead screw. So this small, um, this small movement. Now you can see it uh, was the compensation. So and during the compensation, the machine does not move. Uh, the table doesn't move. Only the lead, the lead screws. So this is the this is the main idea. Uh, let's take a look at it again with maybe um, slow slow mo. Okay, now we're moving in X and then X compensation, then movement in Y, then Y compensation and X movement, and then again X movement, then the circle and then the X compensation. It's a little bit hard to see because there are, these are arcs at the end, so yeah, but you get the idea, I guess. And uh, these are the results, or this is the result without compensation, so in X I am really much off, 0.16 millimeters, and with the compensation looks pretty good. Um, it's almost perfect, so it's 40.99. Depends a little bit how you hard push the caliper, but um, the result is really good. Now the difference is also good visible when uh, you engrave something. Um, the top text is without compensation and the bottom text is with compensation. For example, if you look look at the vertical lines of the T and the 1, so the, the width uh, is, is really um, different. The T is, is wider than the 1, as opposite to the bottom text where uh, it has the, the same width as it should be. So, results there and also the arc motions are very very uh, much better with compensation when you look at the E you have you have those losses at every circle start and, and end as opposite to the um, compensated engraving which is almost perfect it's visible almost everywhere at every circle you can see this ugly um, parts, and here it's it's just beautiful. Also, when you look at the three, so we have here at the start um, some loss, and here just not there. Let's take a look how to create a program that is or that has backlash compensation. Um, you need an uh, initial program. Here I have um, a simple rectangle. So uh, it starts at the origin, goes to the right, X10, goes up to Y10, goes left and goes down again. I have saved this file. Um, and then I'm gonna open the backlash compensation script. Um, it has a window like this, and then I have to choose the G-code file I want to create the backlash compensation. Um, this file is called Sip Simple Rectangle. Let's open it. And I have to choose um, the output file, the name of the output file. I'm just 
gonna use simple, simple rectangle and add comp at the end. Save. And I uh, have to enter the um, backlash compensation values. So I'm just gonna enter 0.1 for the X backlash and for the Y backlash. Click start compensation. Um, it's really fast because the program is simple. Okay. And I'm gonna go back to BCNC and open the file. So created file. It's this one. Open and um, take a look at it. So um, if we go to the editor tab and expand this block, so we see um, that there are some additional lines added um, so this is, these are the original lines so um, the start point then x10 y10 and left and bottom and between it there are those uh, compensation movements like uh, at the beginning before each before the start there is a compensation in x and um, before the um, Y movement, there is a compensation in, in Y and uh, so on. And also before the um, other X movement, there is a compensation in the negative X direction. Um, if we zoom in, we can see the movement. So 0.1 millimeters is really uh, small. This is the compensation for the Y value. Okay, and this is the compensation for the um, X value. Now, there are a couple of more lines. Um, so this is just a line for the relative movement and uh, and to set the value which was uh, which was before. And this is for uh, just for. Uh, for the drawing or for the display to get a correct picture of the of the part. Here is another example. Uh, this time with a circle. So um, the code is very simple. First, um, it goes to x5, y0, and then performs a full uh, circle in uh, clockwise. Um, I'm gonna save this file and um, open it in the backlash compensation window. I'm gonna choose the file. So it's named circle test, open it, choose the file to create. I'm um, again just add circle test comp so that I can um, distinguish it safe and um, the backlash values I'm gonna leave it or maybe I'm gonna add <coughs> some more just to uh, see it better in the graph start compensation it's ready and I'm gonna open the file that I've created right now so it's this circle test comp open okay and now we can see um, what was done. So um, this is the initial compensation um, and then the movement to um, x5, uh, y0 and then uh, it makes compensation in x because uh, the next movement would be in uh, negative x direction and let's take a look this is then the, um, the clockwise movement to the, uh, this, this point and at this point it then um, cuts the circle and enters uh, the Y compensation then goes this point, X, X compensation and so on until the uh, end point. Uh, yeah. 
it works with uh, also with more complex shapes and uh, more complicated programs like this PCP that I've made. Um, let's take a look at it. So um, I'm opening the package uh, compensation window. Uh, I have to choose the file. So it's already selected here. Choose the file to create. Again, I'm just at compact and I could uh, use the same file name, but then I would uh, overwrite the original file, and I don't want that. Save. There is uh, already one existing with the same name. I want to remove it. Okay, I have um, changed the values back now to 0 0.1. I'm gonna click Start Compensation. Takes a little bit longer because um, there are many, many uh, more lines. Okay, but it is uh, nevertheless really fast. Um, okay, so then I'm gonna open the file. It's this one. And opening the file was also successful. Um, and now let's take a look at it. And we can see the compensation values here. So I'm gonna click on this block, on this part of the code. And um, okay, I can see this is, uh, these are G1 commands and little parts of the arc and before the direction change there is this um, compensation element. Um, let's take a look if there are some arcs. This is an arc um, and we can see, or a circle, and we can see that it was, um, so the, the movement begins here and it is a clockwise movement and then it moves to this, this point here, to this point where the compensation starts because there is a, a direction, the y-axis, then it continues at the backlash compensation and then finishes the circle. So all in all I'm, I'm very happy with uh, the script and uh, the milling results it produces. So I'm able to really produce some yeah, pretty accurate parts with, with the small milling machine. What wasn't uh, I wasn't able to do this before. For example, I made a, a motor mount for a, a model airplane, and this backlash was uh, driving me crazy. So it was not possible to, to make uh, preci precision parts. But uh, with the compensation, with the backlash compensation, it really is. And I have added the script uh, to my controller. Um, and also I will make it available for uh, download soon. So um, if you uh, want more infos, uh, please visit my homepage. And um, thank you and see you soon. Bye.